Would you like to see one of my favorite tricks out of the new book, Temporarily Out of Order? Absolutely. It's called OFM. OFM stands for One for Mo. After Mo Silverstein, I believe is his last name. The Mo. The Mo. The Mo. The Mo Move a Card Fame Mo. Got him. Perhaps you'll, you'll understand why this is based off of, uh, not based off of, but sort of a tribute to Mo. I'm going to make several piles of about five cards. One, two, three, four, five. About five cards each. We'll do, we'll do five and five. We'll do ten piles. Ten piles of about five cards. That won't be all the cards, though, so I have to add a couple more to a, to a couple of the other piles here. We'll do that. That's four. That's five. And I have to add, I'll do an extra one there. Yeah, five and five and five. Here, I'm going to turn my back. When I do, I'd like you to pick up any pile, spread through those cards, look them over, and just think of one of them. Then, pop them right back down where you found it. But I might be positionally aware because this pile's moved a little bit. So just nudge everything a little bit so I, I don't know which one you touched. Okay. I'll turn this way. Don't do it till I'm looking away. Pick up any pile, have a spread through those cards, look at, remember one. Okay. Pop it down, nudge everything just a little bit. So you have a secret card in mind. Let me know when you're done. I'm done. Would you be impressed if I could tell you which pile the card you're thinking of is in? Yes. Not very good. That's just a 1 in 10 chance, right? That's a 1 in 10. When there's 52 different cards here, it'd be much more impressive if I could tell you which one of those 52 cards you're thinking of. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to do that. Because this is about <laughs> Mo, it's not about mind reading. And Mo was all about memory stunts. So give me a moment to just look through and memorize at lightning speed, maybe as if Mo would do, every single card in the pack I have it. I what gave, was your card? I gave you a moment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Give me one more. Tell me the card. <laughs> Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades. 22. No. Yeah, it's 22 from the top. Shall we check? We should check. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This is the 22nd card. That's the Jack of Spades. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's just a memory stunt, though. Totally okay. a memory stunt. That's not mind reading. That's not magic. Just memory. Let's up, up, up the game a little bit. Uh, actually, we'll give the whole thing. There's a cat that was just clawing at my, uh, my leg there. I don't know where she went, but it's very distracting. Along with your moments. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to do five cars. Uh, we'll do the same thing again. Uh, we'll just put a couple more in a few different places. Four or five. Is that, uh, how many piles is this? Five and five, so that's five. And I'll add an extra one there, just so that should even out. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. Same thing, this actually, you know what, the problem with you picking one up and looking the cards over, perhaps, and this is some, some people theorize, is I don't really memorize all the cards in the pack. I, and I promise you, I, I do really memorize every card in the pack, honest to goodness. But some people theorize, well, you only have to memorize about 10 cards. Because if you pick up any one of the piles, if I know what's in each pile, despite the cards being shuffled, one of those cards might be more psychologically uh, potent than the others, and you might be drawn to that card. So that would make sense. So if I know one card that you're likely to think of in each pile, I really only have to memorize where 10 cards in the pack after they've been jumbled back together. So to prevent that line of thinking, this time when I turn around, reach into any pile, double blind, take out any card at random. Only look at that one card. So you won't even know what you're getting until you have it. And then sneak it into a different pile. But do the same thing, nudge everything a little bit so I don't know where it came from or where it went. I'll turn this way. So again, reach into any pile, grab out one card, look at it, remember it, and, and just put it back anywhere else. Anywhere. anywhere else. And then mush things around. And then mush things around just a little bit. Now, if I told you, are you done? Yeah. I heard the little pitter-patter of fingers on cards. <laughs> now, if I told you where that card was, would that be impressive? Yes. It wouldn't be. The problem is, I know how many cards are in each pile, so all I have to do is count to see which one is lacking a card, find which one is, uh, is, has gained a card, and then make an educated guess which one that is. So not very impressive. Um, but instead, if we do this the same way we did before, 
where we memorize the deck. But this time, don't tell me your card. This time, actually I'm going to go on intuition. And then I'll check with the mind reading in a moment. 15. My gut says I might change that, but 15. I think it's 15. Let me, let me do a quick little swoop through the cards just to try to memorize um, sort of every, everything about sort of everything that... Uh, think of your card for a moment. I'm going to go with 15. I think 15 feels good. Shall we check? Yes. That's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now think about the impossibility of this for just a moment. You haven't told me anything about your card. Nothing. You put it back anywhere. Yeah. The cards were kind of reassembled haphazardly. I said fifteen before I even looked through the cards. What was your card? Nine of spades. Just keep me honest. Make sure this is really 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That really is the 15th card. Yeah. Have a look. Bastard. The nine of spades. And that's one for Mo. Wow. 